again. So soon. I did not expect to have a video at any point during this month. And then um, the used bookstore happened. And then Dollar Tree happened. And Amazon happened. So I have a lot. And there are three that still aren't here in the mail. So I guess that's the beginnings of another book haul. And I honestly have... Twenty-five shouldn't be allowed. So we're gonna try to go quickly because we all know that my camera doesn't like me or YouTube doesn't like me when I make long videos. So um, no, I'll just do the Dollar Tree ones. Yes, that's the bulk. Apparently, the dollar store that I hit up had a lot of good books. Now two are from a separate store. Had to go looking for something for my sister and found two at that particular one. So, and maybe, just maybe, I will get my little critter over here to make an appearance. My little kitten, Phoebe. But anyways, um, first one, News from Berlin by Otto D. Cat, if you want to say. It's a short little, I think it's about 200 page book. Um, apparently a Dutch diplomat is given some information about... Um, something that's about to go down during World War II, and he's kind of got a sort of, oh my God, who do I take this to? Should I say anything? Um, yes, you should say something. Um, but apparently it's got really good reviews, so I'll give it a try. It wouldn't take more than an hour or two to read. Then we have Snow in May by Ksenia Melnick. Uh, it's just a collection of short stories, which I generally don't do, but this seemed really good and of course I'm a sucker for a pretty cover. I really like this one. Uh, it takes place in Russia. First story I believe is in the 80s and just random random Russian short stories so we'll see. Then we have A Touch of Stardust by Kate Alcott. She wrote The Dressmaker which I read years ago and really enjoyed. Um, this one takes place um, kind of in the the golden age of Hollywood. Um, woman moves to Hollywood to be the assistant to Carol Lombard and gets in with her and her husband at the time, um, well, her husband until her death. Um, I'm blinking on his name and I love him. Clark Gable. Um, and I'm sure it kind of goes up and ends when Carol Lombard's plane crashes in real life. So that one sounds really good. Um, the Eternophiles, Leanna Renee Heber. This one sounded really bizarre, um, kind of right up my alley. The assassination of Abraham Lincoln spurred a secret group within the American government to attempt to bestow both invulnerability and immort immortality to the country's leader. It's like the secret, like, hey, how are we gonna keep people alive forever? Sorry, I got distracted. Busy B is running under my desk. We have Exodus, a memoir by Deborah Feldman. And this one is a nonfiction memoir about a woman and her, it's not any type of escape, but her decision to um, move away from Judaism and how it affected her life and her daughter's life. And I'm trying to see if I can snatch a kitten. No. No, not right now. Um, the Invention of Exile by Vanessa Manko. Some of these I'm going to have no clue what they're about because I read the blurb and... Okay, that sounds good enough. Um, this one, a Russian engineer, 1913, Bridgeport, Connecticut, gets a job in a factory. Um, then apparently he's wrongly accused of anarchist gatherings and is going to be deported. Uh, instead, he flees to Mexico with his family. His family makes it back into America and he's trying to reunite, but things are getting in his way. So there's that one. I don't watch and have never watched um, the Housewives of blah, 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 whatever county, state, city, zip code, area code, 
municipality. But I'm, I know very little about her other than she was in prison with her, you know, because of her husband. Um, turning the tables, Teresa, see, I, I tell, told you I don't read, no, because I can't even pronounce her last name. Giadisi, is that it? I mean, for a dollar, it seems like a really trashy kind of fun time for the summer. <laughs> Uh, and then we have You'll Never Find My Body, Don Lassiter. Uh, true crime. Know nothing about this. Basically, on April 22nd, 1991, three young children waited for their mother to return with a takeout dinner. Instead, their father showed up with a small bag of cold french fries and said their mother had gone away. The children didn't believe it. So, a dollar for true crime. This, again, is like summertime reading. Vanessa and her sister, Priya Parmar. That's how you're saying it. Um, London 1905 has to do with Virginia Woolf. Yes, Virginia Woolf. So this one I had in my cart on Goodreads forever. Never did buy it, so now I know why, because it was a dollar. The Day We Met by Rowan Coleman. This one had a blurb about me before you and Jojo Moyes that she's kind of similar. Honestly, I've only ever read one Jojo Moyes book, which was Me Before You, and I enjoyed it enough to say, hey, this may be worth a go. Um, you're pretty standard chiclet romance-ish kind of book. How to Grow Up, a memoir by Michelle T. Um, aspiring young writer in San Francisco. She lived in a scuzzy communal house. She drank, smoked, snorted anything she got her hands on. Chilled for minimum wage, dated men and women, and sometimes both at once. So this sounds like a dysfunctional memoir that I will really enjoy. Crane Wife by Patrick Ness, which I kept on looking at this thinking that I had picked it up at some point at a used bookstore because the cover and the premise sounds very familiar. I would not be surprised if this was in my storeroom, but I'm almost positive that I don't have it. Um, I, I don't know much about it. Other than Patrick Ness is a name that seems to round the bases with the tube. Uh, Blood on the Mink, Robert Silverberg. This is a one of those cheesy 50s, 60s noir kind of police thriller whodunit, which I had to get it just because there is uh, or there was a place in the Smoky Mountains called Elkmont. Uh, People had cabins up there, and my husband and I went exploring the cabins when they were still there. Most of them they've torn down, uh, but we found in one of the rooms a stack of moldering and falling apart books like this. And I was just fascinated thinking of who was sitting there in the summer, the cold winter, reading these books. Like, that just seemed so awesome. Quiet cabin in the mountains, only electricity. No internet, no nothing, but a stack of freaking books. Come on. So, yeah. This one will probably be a, I would say a fall, like a cozy kind of read. Summer Guest, Justin Cronin. Uh, this one actually has really good reviews on Goodread and Amazon. Um, I think it's kind of a um, early 19th century historical. Don't know much about it. The Descendants by Cowie Hart Hemmings. I never saw the movie if the movie did come out, um, but it is based on the King family in Hawaii. Uh, Descendants of Hawaiian royalty, one of the state's largest landowners, and then it's just basically a very dysfunctional family. So, yeah. Paris and Love by Eloisa James, who writes historical romances, and I have never ever read one of her historical romances. So I was intrigued because it is a memoir and nonfiction about her life in Paris. Apparently she packed up and moved there. Uh, Firecracker by David Iserson says a hilarious tragic comedy from New Girl and SNL writer. That's what, that's what caught me. And the pink and the minimalist cover. Uh, it says readers who enjoyed the pranks played in Looking for Alaska will see similarity. I have never read Looking for Alaska. I own it. Probably never will read it just because... I had enough with the one John Green book that I read. 
I don't need to read anymore. Uh, Cabin Fever, Sizzling Secrets of a Virgin Airlines Flight Attendant. This has pretty crappy reviews from what I gather, but it's not very long. I should be able to plow through it in no time. Apparently all sorts of what happens on flights. And I gotta hurry because I'm at 10 minutes and a half. Um, these are from the used bookstore. Uh, Winter of Our Discontent by John Steinbeck. I do not have this one, so this was the sale. It was only 25% off this time, but I got it. Uh, Love and Gelato, Jenna Evans Welch. This one has been on my wish list. Um, it was $8, so it was $6 on sale. So it was not bad. Um, wish it would have been in better condition. It's bent, but that's fine. When Heaven and Earth Changed Places, Lee Lai Hayslip with Jay Wirtz. Um, this one takes place in Vietnam about how life completely changed for a village. I mean, pretty much the whole country because of what happened. And then Writing Dangerously, Mary McCarthy and Her World, Carol Brightman. This is a doorstop of a book and it's pretty nasty, but it was like two bucks and I don't care. So that will be a rainy day book. And then the last three I have are, I felt, saw this one on um, Art Schooling's channel. Um, Nuts to You by Lynn Ray Perkins. Yes, it is a middle grade or children's book because it is about friends that are squirrels. Come on, how cute is that? And it's pretty wide space and cute illustrations. I downloaded it from the library to try to read and it totally, it, it didn't work in, in ebook format. So I'm going to try it this way because it was only like four or five bucks on Amazon this week. Briar Rose by Jane Yolen. I think this also I saw on her channel and it sounded interesting. It's a bunch of, I don't want to say fairy tale retellings. It's, it's World War II stories. Um, retelling a German folk tale, Briar Rose, a sleeping beauty. So there you go. And then this was a total impulse buy and I regret nothing because this is my second favorite book in the whole wide world and it's a new cover. Yes, I have like five copies of this book, but I don't care. It is the new lovely Gone with the Wind, and it was on sale too. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, I'm still reading Beach Music. I am at the halfway point, so there's that. Uh, this is just one of those, when I pick it up, whatever, the not-so-nude ride of Lady Gudava. It's just facts. And then on my tablet, I'm not going to pull it up, I am reading um, Stalking Jack the Ripper which is very good. I'm 30% of the way through it. So I'm going to go read now and I'm at 13 minutes and hopefully this will upload. So I will see you guys later. Bye.